friends, it's me. Today we're watching TikToks where you have to trust the process. At first I'm like, wait, what is he doing? He grabbing her from the hair? Is she in trouble? But no, he spun her hair into a bun. Oh, that is very sweet. He even put it up in a ponytail for her. She don't like it. Girl, that's the dizzy talking. Well, that backfired. I have never seen a dad do their kid's hair. So you already get bonus points for that. You see that big piece of rock? They put this spinny thing inside. Carved out a piece of crystal. Whoa, it's so beautiful on the inside, right? And then put it in this other spinny machine and they keep filing it down. This is how they make balls. This is specifically a pool ball. And they basically keep filing it down. And whoa, they sphericized it into a crystal ball. Whoa. A few seconds ago, wasn't that a rock? How does this turn into this? It's so shiny. I'm gonna throw it at someone. Don't piss me off. This guy, ooh, sick trick shot. This guy's gonna do it with some. Whoa! Nice! No way. It went in! I'm convinced this guy is the master of trick shots. How many tries does it take to do this? Oh, I was like, where's the ball and where's the cup? <laughs> in his mouth! Let me just disrespect the original creator real quick. You thought that was a trick shot? I will show you a trick shot. This guy playing on the hardest difficulty. I asked my little brother to draw me some lines. <laughs> All right, so aggressively handed it. Like I was asking for your last chicken nugget or something, I'm like tossed it. I was like, took his lines. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give me a second. I'm gonna show you up real quick. I'm gonna show you what real art looks like. I feel like this was just an opportunity to rub it in your brother's face. Like, look at those little lines you did. Ha, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm gonna show you how a pro does it. Just made an entire art piece out of it. The flower children lamenting the death of a bee. Dang, that's deep. Me staring at this in a museum. Just trying to understand the hidden message. No, it's very good. Customer, can you make this into a bathroom? This is their trash room. What is that? It's so narrow. You could barely put a toilet in there. How are you gonna make a bathroom out of this? It's so narrow. Oh, no way. Y'all even put a shower in there? A shower, a toilet, and a sink. They even got one of those long towel holders. No way. That's the same room? Where are the windows? Oh, there they are. Well, it's like they widened it a little bit. I was gonna be like, this is gonna be the narrowest bathroom of all time. You walk in, you gotta walk out in reverse. Bro, there is no way. This took 19 hours, and you're gonna see it in 19 seconds of how they drew 67 from Squid Games in Microsoft Paint. Like y'all did pixel by pixel. I cannot believe this right now. Uh-uh, the detail is immaculate. How did you do this in paint? I didn't even need to trust the process. I saw it in like two seconds. Like what the heck just happened? Now that is what I call talent. I made my second portrait by cracking glass. Now people making art, cracking glass. What's it gonna look like? Crack glass? It's a face. A face out of cracked glass. How do they do this? You crack glass, it look like cracked glass. But now somebody making art out of it? What's next? Oops, drop some macaroni on the floor. You look on the floor and you see this. Statue of pasta. How to get shiny teeth before in the water. What? No way. Is this what it looks like when you open your mouth underwater? There is no way. And then after, are they shiny all right? Now I'm confused. What happens when you open your mouth underwater? Did he put his mouth by the water jets? This is a free teeth cleaning. Plot twist, he went to brush his teeth and jump back right in the pool and finish the TikTok. Wowza, those are some long toes. We got the parents and the three kids on one foot. Wait till the end to see it shortened. What kind of sauce y'all put in? Enchilada sauce? Y'all seasoning the toes? No, they're just disinfecting it. That is a lot of iodine, bro. What the? So we let in this marinate. And at the end of this video, these toes are gonna be short. Just a little snippity snip snip. And wa-bam! They just shortened the second toe. But you see the improvement that made? I didn't even know you could do that. I would have just went the rest of my life wearing socks. But go off with your new toes. I was about to win the EV plush, and then this happened. He's live streaming, playing a claw machine game. I wanna do that. Oh, that is very unlucky. You gonna just push it one more time. That's all it takes. Darn you, EV in your ears. Push it, just boop, boop on the head. Oh my, oh, I was about to say that didn't do it. Whew, I love claw machines. I ain't that good though. One day I will be. 
Surprise Pokemon bedroom makeover. So this mom decided to surprise her son, who loves Pokemon, with some Pokeball themed decor. Painted some shelves red, did a Pokeball on the wall. I, I already know this is gonna look really good. <gasps> Whoa! It's like so subtle and modern. It's not tacky or anything. It's actually really cool how she did it. We got the ombre shelves. Is this what it's like to have parents that love you? Oh, uh, I already thought that was pretty neato, but you're gonna take this, fill it in. I oh, love me some pigmented colored pencils. Oh, colored out of the lines! Y'all are gonna blow my mind, aren't you? Y'all are just gonna give me another photo. It's not even gonna be this photo. This took 70 hours! I wanna see what 70 hours of coloring pencils looks like, okay? No way, no way, y'all saw that. Y'all did me a bamboozle with a different photo. See, I thought y'all were working on this, which ain't bad. And then press the upgrade button and got this masterpiece. Don't worry, this one, it, it was just a practice. And then this, bruh. I was gonna say, dang girl, you need a fill. Those are her real nails. Oh my goodness gracious. They're so pretty and shiny. I haven't had nails like that since high school. Right out of high school, I started getting fake nails and I've been getting them ever since. It's been like 10 years since I had real nails. But these are nice, very healthy. Check out this dorm room. Huge, right? It's even got its own bathroom. And so this girl's mom decorated her entire dorm room. Put new rugs, curtains, pillows, furniture. Oh, that is a nice bed. Some decor on the wall. Even got a mirror. And some pompous. This is more decorated than my entire house. And then after, this has got to be the nicest dorm I have ever seen. Like, it's even got a bathroom, a shelf in the bathroom with all her stuff. You just made her the most popular girl in school. Everybody gonna be hanging out in there. Got some flowers. Whoa, they're alive. Stick bug. I don't think I've ever seen a stick bug like in real life. Those things do not transform. That leaf, it ain't gonna transform into a bug. They just look like that. But it's cool because you think it's like, wow, a stick. Just kidding. Stick bug. Leaf? No, no leaf. Bug. Where are you getting all these cool bugs from? I got ants and mosquitoes. These bugs are so cool. These are the superior bugs I was talking about. How to use dental floss and cotton swabs. So they dip the dental floss into lipstick to make an outline for the lips. Okay, it looks messy though. Oh, nothing that a Q-tip can't smooth. There is no way, that looks perfect. That is like the most perfect lipstick application I have ever seen. I cannot believe this. Like the idea was cool, but I was like, there's no way this actually works, but when they smoothed it, oh, beautiful. I'll be trying this immediately. Okay, look at this dude. Before, your friendly math nerd to, hey, you finished my homework, right? There is no way that's the same person. That is insane what a good haircut can do. Turn you into a different person. New identity. You don't even gotta run from the law. When guys say I'm a changed man. No wonder girls believe them. I haven't seen this girl all over TikTok. Look how much foundation she uses. That is except, oh no, and the eyelashes too. More! There is more! My pores are screaming watching this right now. It's like it makes me angry because her skin was already so good to begin with But then she like completes the look and it looks so good Like girl you look good before you look good after I want to know how she can like move her face after all that makeup without leaving like creases Like Wolverine's claws try to like caress you I cannot believe this Let's start it out with a T time times she did time. Oh times new times I know what's next I know what's next. Times New Roman. Yeah, the font. Oh, she did a makeup look for the font. Okay, and that is exactly what I would have imagined it to look like. Sleek. You mean I can't write my paper in Comic Sans? I made these out of someone else's trash. So she took nightstands. Whoa, those look good. Shelves into that. Okay, those were impressive. Growing up, all of our furniture was somebody else's trash. Like my parents would drive through the neighborhoods at night. Oh, they throwing away a couch? They got a dining table? Oh, we gotta come back here at night. And then we were all carrying in the back of my dad's pickup truck. I mean, they were throwing it away and it's ours now. These two guys, put these shoes on it. Whoa, that's crazy. Who did your makeup? Who styled them? Goodness gracious, they look good. Y'all are having a girls night? Oh, I can't come? <laughs> Hold on, let me just. Oh, I guess y'all are one of the girls now. All right, you're invited. 
You know when you buy something at a fancy store? They usually give you a dust bag to keep it in. So they had three Louis Vuitton dust bags and this dude transformed the dust bag that they give you for free into shorts. And I'm like, there is no way this would look good. There it is, the waistband. Took the ribbon from the boxes that they give you at Louis Vuitton, put it on the shorts and made Louis Vuitton shorts. No way. But that's not all. There's another dust bag that he made a bag with. Took a free Louis Vuitton bag and made a Louis Vuitton bag out of it. Whoa, drippy. Louis Vuitton taking notes right now because they would charge at least $2,000 for both of those. And you did it with a dust bag for free. My customer asked me to design her a new kitchen. It went from this. Ugh, it looks like my old house. Whoa, wait, how you got this? And then turned into this? That's a whole new house. Yeah, I moved. That is insane. Everything white. Y'all have to part everything. May as well have bought a new house. That's incredible. People be like, she didn't add no spice. This look unseasoned. Hey babe, can I draw you for Halloween? What are you drawing? She gonna be mad. Babe, I don't look like that. Oh. Hey, she got up. Sit back down. I'm trying to draw you. I'm trying to make a Mona Lisa, but you just want a Mona Lisa. Bird claws. Are those bird claws? She a harpy lady. My last two brain cells trying to finish the photo. Started out drawing his girl and halfway through. Why not make GF into bird? Oh, that's not a bird. She got a cactus hand or something. She ain't even surprised. Oh, she used to this. She starts laughing. I would have looked at it like, you really think I look like this? You gonna pay to get my nails done? Hello friends, it's me. And today we're watching some videos where you have to trust the process. Don't tell me you're doing surgery on a grapefruit. Oh no, oh they made a hat out of it. The perfectly shaped hat fits right onto the noggin. Oh he is ungrateful. It looks great on you. He does not like the helmet. He's claustrophobic. I'm claustrophobic. I've been seeing this device all over TikTok that adjusts your toe. Oh, you just like click clack it into place, rotate your toe counterclockwise, and just straightens it out. Oh, you hear that crack? That's kind of satisfying. Hey, it's Goku. People be throwing up rice and making art. Oh, you see the glow up? It's like the Dragon Ball Z graphics. Like when it first came out, Goku be looking a little goofy. Versus Goku now? Yeah. Okay, that must have taken a really long time. I would be so nervous. This is something that takes hours to do. And then you gotta just like throw it up. Like what if you get nervous and do a little, and then it doesn't go up all the way. And then you gotta spend your entire day rearranging grains of rice all over again to hope that you don't get nervous this time and can actually do a I think the hardest part in this is like how aggressively you throw up the rice, not actually like bleh, sick throw up. I think that was obvious. Please tell me that is going on your animal. Yes, perfect. I saw the ear holes, I knew immediately it was going to be a hat, or preferably a cat. Oh look, they look gorgeous. That cat don't even know how good it look right now. Baby bonnet for baby man. Do you guys have any idea how much a pumpkin grows in the span of a few weeks? Like look at this, normal sized pumpkin, right? But it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Look, can for reference, oh they gotta keep moving the can because this pumpkin just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So if you don't like pick it, it just keeps getting bigger. When will it stop? That's enough pumpkin! When will it be time to harvest? Oh man, this is back in July. What to do with a pumpkin that big? You make like an actual pumpkin carriage out of that. It's crazy how big these things can get. Like, calm down, bro, you a vegetable. Y'all ever wondered how they make cakes in the store so perfect? Well, they don't come out of the oven like that. They come out of the oven looking like this. A regular cake. Kind of look like a piece of cheese. Some brie. But wait a second. You just put frosting over it, and it makes it look perfect. Using this little measuring device and a spinny plate, and wipe away all the excess. See, this little device, make sure all the icing is even. So even if your cake isn't perfect on the inside, it can be on the outside. I've seen a lot of different kinds of art, but not this one. This one is just a bunch of dots. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of dots. I feel like we're gonna be here for a while. So like everything in this photo is gonna be made of dots. I guess this is like how pixels work. It's just a bunch of pixels. And if 50 dots in my wrist would have started hurting, I would have been so annoyed with this. Ooh, the finished product. I wasn't so sure about the green in there, but you made it work out. It looked like pixel art. She kind of looked like confetti. I bet you could do the same thing, but with sprinkles, except it takes 10 times longer. Also, I would not be able to resist a finger full of sprinkles. 
Here's what 15 years of practicing light painting photography looks like. We're probably thinking the same thing. Light painting? Uh, you just flash in different colored lights and it's somehow gonna make a painting out of it. But look, this is incredible to me. Like absolutely insane. Like how you can take a bunch of pictures, just moving some light around. Woo! And then put it all together and it creates art. Like an actual painting of squiggly lines of light. Wild. Now if only they existed in real life. What are you? Oh, penguin! <laughs> and they just chilling by Big Ben? Okay, pose for a photo! Wait, what are you doing? Hold on, I wore this specific outfit for a very specific occasion for this very specific photo. Nailed it. She's one of the penguins. She painted her hands. Oh, uh, and grab the nearest pair of boobs. They're making matching shirts! Oh no, there was a crease! You messed up! Fix it! These are like perfect for Halloween. Yeah, I'm always looking for some like skeleton on boob shirts. The white one looked great. The black one, mmm, could have been a little better. Yeah, don't be shy, get a firmer grip next time. The Voices by Maddie. What kind of PowerPoint is this? <laughs> I didn't see no baby. That sound came from her? <laughs> Goo goo ga ga in HD. Did everyone down to Georgia? He was looking for a soda steel. He was in a bag because he was way behind. Obtuse, rubber goose, green moose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, large fries, chocolate shake. Oh, that was good. <laughs> this is what a chipmunk would sound like if I could talk. Do you have any nuts for me? God. You look like the 4th of July. Why are these so impressive? Every time I see the picture, I'm like, she can't do it. She does it. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, King Julian. I don't like King Julian. I, I love, love King, King Julian. Julian. Hola, soy Dora. Oh, thank you. Did somebody order a round of applause? That was impressive. I think the baby was still the best one. without even crying. Y'all yeah, just continue to blow my mind. Hey. POV, they drop a bomb, but you have a trampoline. That's too, oh. <laughs> That's too easy. You really thought you could just drop a bomb? Jokes on you, I got a trampoline. What you gonna do when it jump right back? Bet you didn't think that one through. Pick a number from one to 10. Really? Yes. 10. 10 seconds of pepper. <gasps> the sad music I thought it was gonna be a wholesome video yeah he had a fat stack of money I thought he was gonna give him some money 10 seconds of pepper spray evil mr. beast be like this guy can probably sell air bro that doesn't even make any he's gonna make a commercial advertising air well, at least air is free I can't believe we're here I'm watching a video watching somebody advertise air I like that. It's kind of like if Apple sold air, it would be something like this. Apple Air at $9.99 a can. You know they actually sell cans of air when you go skiing or like on a mountain, somewhere with high altitude? They literally sell air in cans. And I, I bought some and you kind of just like hit it, like hit a vape, no. Hit the air, yes. It just helps you breathe better. <laughs> Trying to buy a Walmart ceiling tile. Added Is a price that tag. easy? And you just Chips to hide the tile. up in the air. Got himself a tile. Oh, he cheating. He doing the self checkout. How do I scan this? Yeah, I just need a few ceiling tiles at my house. He's got a tag on it. I don't apart. see why he can't buy it. It's slim. It's slim. It said the price slim, right there. Uh, All you gotta do is scan it. Walk out the door. Like home furniture. Hey, she spelled ceiling tile. She ain't gonna look up in the air and be like, wait, aren't we missing one? No, too much effort. They don't get paid Thank enough you. for that. Thank you. Oh, she let him. He walked out with it. A bona fide, authentic Walmart ceiling tile. Somebody at Walmart HQ gonna watch this video and be like, wait a sec. So that's where it went.
One of my favorite things to do as a tourist in PEI is make a dirt shirt, so I want to show you how I make my spiral ones. A I start off by just getting shirt. a white shirt wet in the ocean, and then I bring it to the shore, and I just twist it like I'm doing a tie-dye spiral, and then I take a couple of elastics to secure the shirt. I don't know if I can trust the process for this one. You're making a dirt shirt, like tie-dye, but with dirt. Wouldn't it just like wash off? Okay, you know what? I'll hear you out. She's just like rubbing dirt all over the shirt. She even got the rubber bands on it. This ain't regular dirt, is it? It's like red rock. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's actually pretty sick, but is it gonna stay? Or are you gonna just like wash it and it'll go away? Oh, you kinda gotta keep it in the sun. And then you give it a good old rinsey rinse. Throw it in the washer. Okay, you know what? This is a real test. This is gonna come out clean, plain white shirt. Oh, it's like ever so subtle. Dirt tie-dye. I had no idea dirt could like stain a white shirt permanently. Uh, that's actually pretty sick. You learn something new every day. Oh, poor thing, free him. There he goes. Oh, he's Little been guy. freed. There you go, rat Oh, sweet thing. And let him go. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. Me too, buddy. Me too. You know, he probably thought he was nice and safe in there. Why free me when that existential dread hits? <laughs> You're having a midlife crisis. What happened to your place? Is, is this a before and after or after and before? The place looked like it got hit by several natural disasters. You told me this is the process of them building it? How many years did this take? To go from this, look like a swampland, to this, looks like a palace in Dubai. They built their dream home. Okay, that's wild. My largest portrait made by cracking glass. You guys can control like where the glass cracks and oh my, there's a face in the glass that you cracked. Oh, then you just hang it up? What? I thought you were just gonna like pop it on the ground and like shatter it and call it art. Like, look at all these creases, woo! Do you see that face right there? Like, bro, you just destroyed my shower door. Nah, bro, this is art. I wasn't expecting to see an entire face in there like every single one of these cracks calculated. You be doing them on purpose. It's crazy how it kind of glow like that. Like, what you got behind there? Watch me draw without knowing what colors I'm using. Okay, so just a bunch of random colors here. Oh, you could just make it black and white. Oh, mix all the colors together. Now you'll have no idea what colors you're drawing with. I feel like it's gonna end up really cool. What are you even drawing? A sack of potatoes? Kinda looks like an abnormal titan. Oh, there's definitely a hand in there. It looks like somebody holding their back. Like, I got back pain too, but like, we making it into art now? Oh, all right, that's kinda sick. Colors kinda look like an oil spill. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Definitely a lot cooler than if you knew the colors that you're gonna use. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be watching some things where you have to trust the process. Watch until the end. Okay, he's making a cake. Stacking all these pieces of cake on top of each other. Is it gonna make a snake? Oh, that's not a snake. Are you sure I can trust you? You're not gonna get me demonetized, right? That's, that's not what I think it is. No, it does not look too good for you right now, but I'm going to decide to trust you because you told me to. Oh, okay, we're adding some blue on there. You know, what could it be? Now, at first I thought it was gonna be a Diglett. Oh no, wrong Pokemon. Oh, it's Dratini! Wow! You know, you really got me worried with that head shake. But it's just Dratini. That's a gorgeous looking cake. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's okay to trust strangers on the internet. Most of the time you shouldn't. This was an exception. Got out of her car, she's opening the trunk. What's in the trunk? Oh, dog. Hello, dog. Wow. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that. So he just disappeared into a pile of leaves. Oh, he was waiting to do that. She literally had to contain him in the trunk of the car so he wouldn't keep doing this. Every year, my dad builds something in our driveway for Halloween. Is that a wooden skeleton? Please tell me it's a titan. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Is it the ghost of Albert Einstein? No, but it's a skeleton. Trust me, repurpose that, make it into a titan. It would be terrifying. The neighborhood kids would love it. 
This dude made this magical table. You're gonna tell me it's actually gonna light up like that when you touch it. Okay, so he saw somebody else do it on TikTok and he's like, okay, you know what? Instead of paying a ridiculous amount of money for this, we're gonna DIY it. Let's take some blue resin, pour it in, and then sand it down. Oh, and then the back side too. Oh, I see. So when you put it against the light, it lights up. So there's no like actual LEDs in it. This is a lot of work. You gotta take it back to the shop Five minute crafts be like so simple and all you got to have is this very expensive heavy machinery that can laser etch custom designs into wood I think I'll just watch he is hooking it up to some LEDs. Okay, that's a lot of work Every single one of these is gonna be hardwired. So let me guess when you touch it it lights up Okay, this is the coolest table I've ever seen. It's definitely worth it. I have never seen anything like that That was a lot of work though. You know, I wish they would just sell things like this. How much? Just take my money. What is that? A tree? Oh. Somehow they put a clump of clay on a stick and now it's already looking like a face. Stop, you're moving too fast. Yeah, mold it into the face. Oh wow. Oh, it's him! You can be a little more enthusiastic. Like, oh yeah, that's me, huh? Imagine your crush making a clay mold of your face. And they're just like, hey, that kind of look like me. Pretty cool. <laughs> you know, maybe be a little more excited. You know, it's all fun and games until you accidentally drop it. Somebody made this out of clay and then dropped it. <laughs> okay, yeah, just don't drop it. Leg one, leg two, leg three. I didn't know rocks had legs. Those are like marks in the legs. What are you doing? Chipping away at the rock? Oh wait, I guess that's how you tell the difference between a rock and like a fossil. And then there's a whole entire crab inside it. I mean, I cannot tell you how long this time lapse was. Like they were chipping away at this rock for who knows how long before they discovered what was inside. I guess next time you're at the beach, check your rock for some legs. You might find a little surprise in there. Nature's kin egg. Let's fulfill a $900 Christmas order. Oh, I always wondered how much a custom piece of art costs. Oh, wow. I start adding all the details. Yeah, that cat is really coming to life. Staring into my soul. Oh, and then add all the whiskers, each individual hairs. Oh, it's a pet portrait. This is a very rich person thing to do. We need to order a portrait of the kids at once. The kids are actually just the pets. Well, I was about to say, I can't show this on YouTube. What's she heating up on the spoon? It's actually makeup. Wait, why is she taping her face like that? Oh, wow. Does heating up your makeup actually make it blend better? I mean, it kind of makes sense. Look at the way it goes on so flawlessly smooth. Wow. Oh, that was what the tape was for. You know, just a reminder of what it looks like underneath. It's literally like a filter. You know, take your swimming on the first date. Yeah, okay, try me. There is nothing. She literally poured water on her face. There is nothing on the paper towel. How are you doing this? Bro, I wear tinted sunscreen. It still gets everywhere. This looks better than a filter. That light foundation filter on TikTok, but in real life. This has got to be the most flawless makeup I have ever seen. Please do chrome from <laughs> Ah, Real Monsters. I have no idea who that is. You're telling me she's going to turn into this guy. Okay, we really gonna have to trust the process for this one. Yeah, put on the suit, stuff it a little bit. I need scissors. Till you look abnormally pregnant. Oh, there goes the mouth. She is looking more and more like him. The armpits. We're just gonna tape them down? Okay, you know what, that works. Oh, the eyeballs. Okay, what are you gonna do about your head then? Don't you have to put away your entire head? Because his eyeballs are just like... I don't know, this is all coming apart. You know, add some sparse hairs. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Oh! Okay! Yes! Attach the eyeballs onto the elbows because the hands aren't good enough. And then just tuck your head in. Congratulations, yeah. you are no longer human. <laughs> that is terrifying. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep tonight. I tuck myself in bed, close my eyes. This will haunt my dreams. What do we think? I think she did a pretty good job. 
There is absolutely no way. This dude bought, what is that, a 75 inch TV? And he's gonna try to take it home. Bro, what are you driving? A unicycle? My tripiner doesn't only have one wheel. That has one wheel. Okay, the other day I saw somebody take their groceries on a bike. So if that guy can do that, maybe this dude can carry a 75 inch TV on a unicycle. Oh, you gotta be powerful for this. I know that is heavy. There's absolutely no way he's not gonna make it home. He's barely gonna make it off the target sidewalk. That box gotta be empty or something. I don't believe it that somebody could just balance that and carry it on a unicycle. That's one wheel. You'd be better off walking with it home. Okay, this just makes makes it more impressive. Thrift flip with me. I almost couldn't say that. Basically, she's gonna take a couple of thrifted items and then make something completely new out of it. So from a sweater, she took the sleeves, two pieces of this shirt, and the middle of the zip-up sweater. You're gonna make a Franken shirt? Are we using all these different pieces to make something new? That's all you're gonna use of that. This little piece. It's like a bib. A boob apron, if you will. Okay, add all these little pieces together. You know, it's really that simple. I wish I had a sewing machine. I can make so many cool things with a sewing machine. I did have a sewing machine and then every time I would have a little issue the most minor inconvenience would stop me from sewing I'm not gonna touch it again for a few months I'm just gonna sew things by hand now I like doing things the old-fashioned hard way uh, sometimes technology ain't for me anyway she made this Franken sweater with all these different parts from different shirts it actually came out pretty good Wow now, don't let urban outfitters see this they're gonna be selling this for like 80 bucks is bro a bro? Oh, those are some gorgeous eyelashes. Oh, whoa! Goodness gracious, it's like Inosuke in real life. Got them lady eyes, got that luscious hair and lashes, and then boom. Would you also happen to have a piggy head? <sighs> okay, you know somebody is a very skilled artist when they start out the video like this. I I'm just gonna trust the process. You know, I know you just scribble in right now. What is that, a toothbrush? Oh no, I don't know what kind of tool that is. Okay, now you can see the skill is at work. Somehow this is going to turn into a piece of art. I'm just going to trust and believe that. Unless you wanna bamboozle me today. But why today? It's Hamburg Sunday. That's when I get my hamburger after I'm done with these videos. Okay, started, okay, I don't, I don't know about this one. What is that, a piece of charcoal? Oh wow, I can see a face in there. It's like the face is smoking on fire. That belongs in a museum. So this painting took her two weeks. Ooh, so she prepared all her colors before starting. Oh, okay, how did we go to just like smudge to just a painting? Okay, sometimes these videos just move way too fast for me and I was like blank. It, it goes from like scribble to masterpiece. And then just keep adding more and more detail. Oh, that is a lot of little lines. It's crazy seeing all of it just like come together. Half of the picture's still like unfinished. I'm assuming that's water. Oh, wow. I wish I had the patience for this. To spend two weeks working on something I could never except gardening something you guys probably don't know about me. I like to garden I have my own little garden and I just planted pumpkins and they already like sprouted I think it's making me a more patient person Girl, what you doing? She posing? Oh, oh, those actually came out way better than I thought they would. Like, I thought she was just doing whatever. Like, chances are, if you're just gonna like dance around and just take a bunch of pictures, some of them are gonna come out cool. Girl, speak for yourself. Half of mine will come out blurry. Nikado avocado in 2016. Bro used to actually eat avocados? That cannot be the same person that I reacted to. Is that where he got his name from? Like he was vegan and would eat avocados and healthy stuff? This was quite the glow down. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I feel bad for him. And I trusted the process, but look what happened. Bro was crying in front of the entire McDonald's menu. I don't think things are going too well. It's new painting day. A wash of colors helps me to ease into it. Next, I outline my sketch. While the paint is still wet, I can easily try again if I make a mistake. Oh, that's nice. You know, painting is very forgiving sometimes. If you make a mistake, just paint over it. And then she wipes away the paint to reveal the highlights and then use a darker shade to mark the shadows. And then once that dries, she's gonna add the color. Okay, and then she's gonna add like layers and layers of paint. You know, this is very interesting because I've never seen somebody paint like this. I feel like every artist has their own like different techniques. Like no one technique is correct. You know, whatever works for you. And the finished product. So even though I blend so much more later, I still keep many of those expressive marks. And I guess that's more of her art style. Like she doesn't want it like completely blended where it looks airbrushed. I think that's what makes it unique.